Hi, my name is Danny, and welcome to Pagan Perspective Subs Week. This is Thursday, and we're talking about totem animals. As always, this week's question in entirety is down below in the description. There are also a couple links to some Obad specific articles on how druids might work with animals. So if you're looking for a little bit deeper information about druidry and spirit animals, that is a great place to get started. Generally, many druids believe that everything, plants, trees, rocks, creatures, all have a spirit that is unique to them. This means that there's a lot of emphasis put on honoring and learning from each individual tree, each individual creature. Like many faiths, there are certainly some animals that have special meaning for druids. The first would be the salmon. The salmon comes up in many Irish, Welsh, and Scottish tales. It is often seen as a creature of wisdom, eating from the acorns and wisdom trees. They are seen as bestowing a real sense of honor and wisdom to the person who communes with it, to the person who eats it, and there's a lot of emphasis put on that creature. The raven is also often seen as a really important animal messenger, uh, a creature that can go between the two worlds, the spirit realm and the physical realm, and bring back gifts of prophecy, of healing, of initiation. It can be a very potent symbol in someone's work or relationship with spirit animals. Druidry also emphasizes what work can be done on the shamanic side of workings. So when you are interacting or in the spirit realm or the other world, as most druids call it, spirit animals can be really important there and might have very specific messages for you and your path and what you are experiencing in that moment. Those are just some quick basics that Druidry um, on a whole as a philosophy kind of encompasses. Now I want to touch on my specific path. So there are two kind of spirit animals that I have come across in my pagan work that have been really important to my development and growth. The first would be the snake or the serpent. I encountered snakes in a lot of my meditative walks when I was first looking into becoming pagan and kind of that transition into really focusing on developing my own spiritual path and really diving deeper into druidry. It is of course fitting that I encountered snakes a lot there because they symbolize transformation. They also, I think for me, represent kind of finding that inner strength. Um, and not worrying so much about what other people think or negative perceptions that might be around you. A lot of times people are really freaked out by snakes. I have always really kind of liked them and I think they have an inner grace and beauty to them. Not always a negative, dreary, dark sort of animal spirit. The second spirit animal that I've had since I was little would be geese. I think geese can sometimes be an underplayed symbol or creature in when talking about totem animals and spirit animals. When I was really little, we of course raised geese with our like chickens and turkeys on the farm, but I had this special affinity and knack with them. My mom used to put me in a little car seat and I would be on kind of like a corner of the barn while they were working on other projects. And the baby geese and adult geese would just kind of come up to me and start talking and we would have this whole conversation going on my mom said and they would even crawl up into my lap in the car seat. Geese are an interesting spirit animal because they represent loyalty, they're really devoted to their flocks and their mates of course. They can also represent a real rational perspective on life. You know they are connected to the seasons of the world, they migrate when the seasons change and they have an intuitive sense of when that is. They are prepared for the changes that happen in life. When I'm working with spirit animals, I often see them out in 
nature when I'm doing meditative walks or kind of just observing my surroundings. And I also sometimes encounter them when I'm doing meditation and working on specific problems, especially snakes. Those kind of come up when I'm facing a situation where I really have to make strong changes in my life. I probably don't have the same sort of interactions where there's a specific conversation going on or very human communication. I think of spirit animals more as symbols and messages that make you really think about what's going on. How whatever is happening in your external world really connects to your internal world. I also think it's interesting that some people talk about kind of discovering or finding their totem animal or spirit animal. I think that sometimes the animals that we like and we want to work with, we feel like we can't work with because it's not really a calling. You need some grand metaphysical awakening or meditation where they come to you and it's, it's a big deal. I really would encourage people to uh, work with whatever animals and symbols they want to work with. Thanks for watching Thursday on Pagan Perspective. I will see you next subs week. Have a great week and as always may you find peace in the sacred grove.